Welcome to Sugar Creek Township. They call themselves an open space community. Let me show you how open it is. It's really fun to go out and explore. Exploring is the perfect way to describe Sugar Creek. But before heading out, Chief Naturalist Kendra Scheid, who works for the Bellbrook Sugar Creek Park District, said I should stop by. If you've never been in the area, we can give you maps of our nature parks. This building, once known as the Sugar Creek Ski Lodge. This one shows kind of how steep it really was from here's the building. Oh, wow. Yeah. Has been transformed into the Park District Headquarters. We have our rain garden. We do archery programs. We have the Owl Prowl coming up in November. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you heard that right. And of course we only do it once a year because they do have territoriality and the breeding season will be coming up. Next on the list of things to see, Sweet Arrow Reserve. And it's right on the Little Sugar Creek and it is beautiful. Covering more than 260 acres of land, this park clearly ticks the box for open space. And it is a beautiful park with six miles of hiking trails. <laughs> So don't forget your walking shoes, or in my photographer's case, an ATV ride with Kendra. <laughs> I enjoy my time. Because you'll need them to hike through the prairies, over the creek, and through the woods to get to the park's biggest attraction. We are by our incredible historic sycamore tree. Centuries old. So if you see it, you can actually get inside the tree. Can probably take about 10 adults to put their arms around. From sweet arrow to arrowheads. So, you know, some people get excited about sports cars. Some people get excited about arrowheads. Randy Tischer, owner of Green Velvet Sod Farms, has dozens of them hanging on the wall. Arrowheads are, are cool and they are naturally found right out here in our fields. He says the best time to find an arrowhead is during the summer, right before he plants. If you go out in that field after it rains, it's just uh, sort of like they glow in the dark. Randy recently sold one of his arrowhead sod farms to the Thomas and Edna Weller Foundation. It was a very unique situation. Assistant Township Administrator Kara Tilford says the foundation was looking for a township property to preserve like the Tisher Farm. So the foundation plans to build an approximately 3,200 square foot nature center, passive museum to allow folks to come in and understand um, what has been found on the property. This open space will also include a sugar shack and an observation tower over the Little Miami. And they're hoping to complete the project in fall of 2022. A banana nut, sweet potato. It's a very busy market. Of course, I can't visit Sugar Creek without checking out the food. And while there are dozens of restaurants to choose from, I had something else in mind. It's local vendors that have produce. We have honey vendors. From mid-April through mid-November, the Sugar Creek Farmer's Market is bustling with people. They come every Friday. There's regular customers that come. They want to see the same people every week. From fresh vegetables to honey to beef and chicken, this market has it all. You could get everything to make a home-cooked meal for that evening or the next couple evenings for sure. Whether you want fresh vegetables or to breathe in the fresh air, Sugar Creek is the place to be and without a doubt is an open space community. I'm Chief Meteorologist McCall Vrydags, News Center 7.